Hello everybody, this is Drew Naylor. Previously on Wind Waker, we got another heart container. See? The the heart container area is empty. Or we got we got two more heart pieces. So we got another heart and the heart container thing here is empty. Today what we're gonna do is before I said that we were gonna go to another island, or I I don't know if I said that we were gonna go to another island, but I said that we were gonna get stuff, get more stuff. But first there's still one more thing to do on Windfall Island, and I need to change it to nighttime. So I'll do that first. Okay, so now it's nighttime. You'll want enough rupees for this to do this thing that we're going to be doing. So you want to go to where? Oh, it's over here. That's right. You'll want to go to the rich guy's house at nighttime. Because you'll see. At night time, can I talk to him? Well, now, good evening. Yes, yes. I rent out the first floor of this mansion in order to run a nightly auction. And actually, tonight's auction is about to begin. Oh dear me, is it ever? Now it is indeed an auction, but I, but I like to describe it more. In more in simple terms, it is a competition of the very highest order. Oh yes, it is a competition to see who can get the item that is being auctioned. Can you outbid everyone else? Do you have the courage and the, the fundage? Oh, the drama. Ah, but what's this? Oh dear me, do I detect a hint of curiosity? I believe I do, fortunately. We welcome bidders of all ages, both kids and adults. That's not going to be a problem ever, is it? Nope, not at all. Yes, so tell me, would you like to participate in the auction? Absolutely. Really? Dear me, really? Um... Now, you are completely fine with me not explaining the auction to you? Am I correct in assuming this? Yeah, I'll show... I'll explain it as we go. Yes, good, that speeds things up. Very well then, let us begin immediately. It's no time to dawdle, the auction is afoot. On your toes, on your toes. So let's see what they're selling tonight. Or what they're auctioning off tonight. I guess this is eBay, except it's not online. And the only thing of the only thing involving the word bay is that uh we're on an island. Yes, yes, yes. First, let me thank all of you bargain loving people for joining us this evening. Dear me, what a turnout. The auction is about to begin, yes. And what do you suppose will pop up as our item of the evening? Oh dear me, I'm so excited I can't stop sniffling. The calm before the auction storm always makes my nose run. Let's get to it. This evening, our glorious auction item is this. A fabulous treasure chart. Oh my dear, what a prize. At last, the suspense is over. But all drama aside, you should know that it is, an extreme, it is extremely rare to even... Get a chance to own a fabulous item like this. It is precious, quite dear, quite valuable. Yes, 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 listen well, for I do not lie. Let the auction begin. Let's opening open the bidding at 60 rupees. And... Begin. I'm gonna come back. Um... I'm gonna come back to, um, when they are auctioning off a piece of heart. No, there are multiple options that we can get. Um, there's multiple options, multiple things that we can get, and different people from around the island show up. I didn't mention that before. I think it might be the same people, actually. Um... Ah, here's the piece of heart. So we can get this. Um, and 80 rupees, okay. So there's multiple items we can get. This is a piece of heart this time. Oops. Eighth. You have to just... Press the A button. 
You have to button mash and then change it to what you um, want it to be and then they will um, and then that will stun the other people and then that'll be for 30 seconds and then um we need to put it up to like that seems good <laughs> oops no not yet Okay. So I need to put it up more. 137 sounds good. This should be good enough. Um, hundred and fifty sounds good. And that's for sixteen more seconds. There isn't much time left. And then nine seconds, so I'm gonna just put this up to 160. I know this is really not a great um this isn't really a great tactic but it ensures you get it. Five seconds remaining. This isn't the end. You have ten seconds. I no that doesn't really work here. Okay. And then I'm gonna increase it to um, just 170. To there we go. And sold. Here ends the auction. Tonight's fabulous piece of heart goes to Link for the price of 170 rupees. I probably way overpaid for it, but I want to make sure I get it because I'm not very good at um, quickly doing percentages because what you want to do is you apparently you want to have it be a hundred or be ten percent increase it at ten percent to stun the other auction people uh to make sure that you get the item at the time and then there's something with the seconds i don't know i got this from ign's wiki again because when i was doing research on what to do for yesterday's episode i saw that Dear me, let me just say congratulations! And we get a piece of heart for 170 rupees, which is a lot, but... My dear, how incredible that such a youngster walked away with the prize. I've never seen such a... such a wallet. That kid was a bidding machine right up to the end. But now then, on to business. For you lucky ones out there, and yes, yes, also... For you not so lucky ones, let me say thank you for your participation. I must bring tonight's auction to an end. Um, so yeah, the auction is done and we can talk to these people. Try upping the bid by more than just a few rupees. You need pretty deep pockets, of course, but if you play it right, your, your move may just may just be such a mental shock to the other bidders that they don't know what to do. And then, yeah, so that's what you basically do. It doesn't tell you the percentages. But... No, I just cut grass. I mow the lawn for people. Most, well, and then I break pots and 
people's houses and open up treasure chests and stuff like that. And there's always rupees in them, most of the time anyway. Link the hero of money. Okay, now we need to come back later. Later being right now. And then see what they're offering. And apparently they move... Yeah, there's different people this time. Well, at least one... They switch out people. There's that woman in the orange dress there. Um, that wasn't there last time. So there's a treasure chart and they're selling it for... Or they're auctioning it off for five rupees. No, we don't want this. Because this one will lead us to... This one I'm pretty sure will lead us to um, a one rupee chest. We don't want that. So, at least I hope so. I hope that's how the game is telling you this one isn't worth very much. At least in the GameCube version, apparently, according to IGN's wiki and the Wii U version, you get, um, there's a 50 rupee chest. And how much is this one? 60, okay, good. So 63 rupees. I did a report on that number. That's my favorite number in, um, in sixth grade because of Super Mario 63. Um, 80... let's do 85. And the bar goes up too, automatically. Let's do a hundred and five. No, five. Time's running out. Twenty six seconds left, so I'm gonna. Oop, no. No. I'm gonna. Change it to a hundred and fifteen. Nineteen seconds left. So I'm going to put it to a hundred and hundred and thirty five because I don't know the percentages with this again. I'm just making sure that I get this because this one's really good. I don't remember what it is. 12 seconds. 140. Oh. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! Hundred ninety five. Sounds good. <laughs> the wall is bottomless. There we go. goes to Link. Got right, a treasure chart. Doesn't tell you what number it is. There's two of them here. One's good and one's awful. Um. Let's 
So there's that. Let me look at the thing again. Oh, what's really funny is Apple just emailed me to tell me when WWDC is. And today's March or May 24th, which is also Microsoft Build. I just find it really funny that they're emailing me about their own event on the same day of the competitor's event. Okay, yeah, I think we're I think we're actually done with this because in the in the GameCube version, there are only two things worthwhile, the piece of heart and one of the treasure charts. I'll come back later if it turns out that the treasure chart that I got is the one that gives me one rupee. In the Wii U version, uh, you get, you can also get a swift sail here, which makes you sail faster. I remember reading a while back that the developers wanted to include that in the GameCube version, but it loaded, uh, the squares on the map loaded too slowly for that to be possible on the GameCube, so they just didn't include it, and then they put it on the HD version. So we need to uh, fast travel to to the next island that we need to go to. I also looked this up on, um, well, we're fast traveling next to the next island we need to go to. So we're at Forest Haven now. Actually, oh, I, I don't even have the sail out, whoops. I'm gonna jump out here really quick, go into Forest Haven, grab a thing, a dragonfly, I think, or, you know, I don't know what they're called, but they're not fairies, they're the other things. I'm gonna grab one of those, because we need that for something. Oops. So yeah, the island we need to go to is... It's here. I looked up on IGN's wiki, yes, I know. Um, oh wait, that's not the island. That's too close blocking the view. I looked up on IGN's wiki, yes I know, IGN, Inscrutable Duncan, uh, Meathead Rain, 7.8 out of 10, too much water, yes I know that, but like, I would assume that they're, that at least on their wiki, people are, people that know what they're talking about are fixing things to make them correct and not be like super Oops, and not have them be, like, wrong. Oh, I didn't think that would actually get it. Oops, I need to go up here. I, oh, I can't pause and equip stuff during when I'm swinging. There we go. Is there another one right here? Oops. Yeah. No? No, there isn't. So I need to do that. Deflect the thing there. And then go up here. I need to go in here. We have... Oh, we have a third bottle now. I forgot about that. Um, so that'll... That'll help out. No, I... Yeah. Oh. Oh, did I mess this up? Already? I messed this up already, didn't I? Okay. Well, guess we'll go do the other thing now. So you're back in the boat. Okay, we need to go... It's going southward. So I need to switch the wind to go left. Or west. I forgot to change the thing again. So yeah, we need to go... West. Yep, just like that. And we gotta sail around this island. Oh, I wasn't even looking in the right direction. For where we need to go. Oh yeah, that- I was surprised for a second why there was glowing around this island up here. But then I remembered it's just- gotta pull out our- 
arrows now. Then I remembered it's just, or no, that's just part of the island and must be how it appears on here. Now to make things easier, I, IGN's wiki says to do this, but I wasn't really sure um, if I was going to do this or not, but I, I am going to. It says to get rid of this gunboat here. I think I'm too far away. <sighs> See you when I get this done. There we go. Just have to go to point blank range. Okay. Now we can go up here, switch to the arrows, and then actually first I'm gonna get out of the boat and then see what happens. If I try to go up here, is it gonna... Oh! It just freezes you immediately. And then you immediately uh, die, in quote, uh, and then have to get out of the boat. But what you need to do is switch to the fire arrows, do like this, and then thaw, not hoth. Or I guess, um, oh, they bring it back. Uh, that's not fair. We got to go around here. And then we thought not Hoth or or is it uh, Tantal? Not sure. Something. I have to jump up here. Jump like that. I don't like this one at all. This one's the worst because it makes you slide on the ice and then you're slipping around and I I just don't like ice physics. I don't like this one at all. It's it's atrocious. It's absolutely horrible. I don't like slipping around like this. It's not fun. And then there we go. Now we got into here, but that's not the only thing that we have to deal with. You'll see. And... I'm gonna slide down. There's keys all over the place. Now we need to jump up here. And we're gonna go on a slide that looks just like the... Uh, looks like just like the ice texture in um, Monsters, Inc. Actually, this... Also, this kinda looks like it, too. Sort of. Not really. Or Monsters, Inc. Uh, screen Team for the PlayStation 1. And there's a PlayStation 2 version, but I never actually played that one. Yeah, well, at least they let you get back up here. 
uh, f without having to reset the entire thing. And then I don't think I can actually use the uh... There we go. I don't think we can actually use the the Deku Leaf to f just fly directly there. And now that's done. You got the iron boots. These boots are so heavy you can hardly walk. But the wind can't blow you around when you wear them. Finally, we can leave. But before we leave, I'm gonna go back over there because there's a, um, because there's a pot right over there that I wanna fall into the water directly. Well, I mean, at least we can just go right, at least we can just go right here. Oh, actually you can just go right to the top one. And you don't even need the bottom one, but it's good that the bottom one's there. To show people that it exists. I've never actually had to... No, I think I have had to go back. Maybe not, I don't know. I think I was... I might have done that okay. I don't... When I did it before, I don't remember for sure though. Um, switch this. And then you can use the fire arrows to melt ice. Oh. oh. That's just fairies. And there's pots. And some rupees in the... Pots, rupees, and arrows in this grass here. Oops. And if you run around too much, Link will slip and fall. Oh. I, I'm not used to the... Deku Leaf not being on the X button. Well, we can just... We can just grapple back up here. No. There we go. You have to let go of the analog stick and then... Jump up again. Uh, if you equip the iron boots, you can walk right through that wind. But obviously I didn't have to because I... I, I fell. You know, and in this part, if you fall out, you can just swim right over here. And there's a rupee, blue rupee, that I couldn't jump to. Apparently the ice block was too low or something. And we can actually go around here and then melt all the ice here. No, that, that's not something I can melt. Um... Oh, here's a treasure chest right here. I knew there was stuff here, I just didn't remember. And you only need one, at least for some things. Whoops. Oh, no. Oh, I have the iron boots now. I can just use those. But you walk really slowly with them, so... And we get another treasure chart with this. Up here there's a yellow rupee. I don't really care much about it. Oh, actually it's just right here. So I'll get it then, because it's just right here. There shouldn't be anything else here, but I will feed the fish. Those clouds look like, right there, look a little suspicious. I think... No, I, actually I think this game just has Clouds. Cloud simulations, maybe. I don't know. Uh, okay, we have to switch to this. No, we have to switch to that. And then I'm gonna get the bait out. And then go over here and feed the fish. There we go. Hi, small fry. Yeah, yeah, I've heard. You want a chart? Oh, an information about this island. It always says the same thing at the beginning.
This is Ice Ring Isle. There's this amazing treasure inside that freezing ring of ice over there. But even if you wanted it and tried to get inside, you'd just be frozen solid as soon as you approach the shore. But if you go four squares north and three squares west, you'll find the power to melt any ice, no matter how cold. Search for it, small fry. And there... Okay, that's it. Something I wanted to point out that I just realized, just noticed again, I've I figured this is the case before, but I just wanted to point this out. You see the name at the bottom there, where it says Ice Ring Isle? Notice how it's red? Also how it's red for Forest Haven? Not red for Bomb Island? Red for Tower of the Gods? Red for Fire Mountain? Red for Dragon Roofs Island? Red for Windfall? But not... Oh, some of these. Outside Island is red too. Forsaken Fortress is also red. I think the ones in red are story relevant or story important ones. Or maybe not story, just ones that you have to go to to finish the game. Because I think, I don't think you have to go to Tingle Island. I'm not real, I don't know for sure. But you do have to have Tingle decode the Triforce charts. So I'm not really sure why that's the case. But yeah. So yeah, now we have the Iron Boots. Yeah, I haven't really thought about what to do after this episode, so maybe I'll just end it here. Uh, next time we'll go do something. I haven't thought that much ahead. Goodbye for now.